Hi, I'm Phil with Rio Grande's Jewelry Tech Team. Today, I want to talk to you about solders and give you some tips on how to use paste solder successfully. Let's get started. We have a lot of different types of solder. We have low temperature solders like Stay Bright and Tix that you can use a soldering iron with. We also have copper and brass solders. Then we have precious metal solders, and I'm going to mainly focus on those. So our precious metal solders come in sheet, wire, and paste. They come in silver and gold as well. Uh, you can get white gold, yellow gold. Now, our silver solder, which I'm going to mainly focus on today, comes in a 10 ounce jar, a one ounce jar, and then uh, one penny weight syringes. Makes it really easy to use. They also come in the different temperature ranges. Uh, your extra easy, easy, medium, and hard. So it gets, uh, melts at a higher temperature as you go up to the hard. Now my sheet solder, you can, you can slice that with uh, little hand shears or scissors, and then you slice off the ribbons, and you can cut any length of solder that you need for your particular project. Or you can cut little tiny snips, and you can pick it up with your tweezers and place it where you need it, or you can heat it and pick it up with your solder pick. I like to color coordinate my solder, or, or color code it. So I might put white on one, red on another, and green on another, white being my lowest temperature. I kind of think of it like snow. My green is kind of go, that's a medium solder. And my red would be my, my hard solder. So when I pick up a little piece, I know what I'm picking up. I don't get it mixed up. I do the same thing for my wire solder. So I have have it color coordinated, so I'm sure I'm using the right solder every time. I also have my syringes, and I, I love using the, the, either the syringes, and you can put a little um, a tip on there and squirt it out, and you can get just a little tiny bit right where you need it. Now one of the, a tip I've got for you on that is once you squirt it out, pull back, you know, and you use what you need, pull back on the syringe slightly. Otherwise, the pressure on the syringe will continue to push out some of the solder, and so you'll have a little bit of waste. Now, to keep your solder from um, drying in the tip, one thing I do is I have a little glass jar, and I store my my syringes in the glass jar, and it has a little bit of mineral oil in the bottom of the jar. I don't have to have a lot of mineral oil, but that keeps the tip um, moist so it doesn't dry in there, so I can continue to uh, push the solder out. If it does dry in the tip, no big deal. Shove a wire through there and clean it out or drop it in the ultrasonic or grab a new tip. That's super easy. Now, if it dries in the syringe, that's, that becomes another issue. You pull the syringe or the plunger part out of the syringe and you can put a couple drops of mineral oil in there and push the plunger back down and just let that oil seep down into it. And usually you can reconstitute it. Um, but you wanna make sure that it stays moist. You can also take the tip off, clean the tip out and put your little cap back on. And that'll help um, keep it moist and ready to go for next time. But um, for me, this is really convenient. I leave the tips on, the uh, mineral oil kind of just soaks up in there and um, it, it works really well. Now on your little jars, if that dries out, and you know, in New Mexico, where, where we're at, everything dries out. We have humidity of about 16%. When this dries out, I can add a few drops of mineral oil, mix it up, get a little toothpick or something, stir it up, and reconstitute it. If this is too dry the way it comes, you can make it a little bit more moist with just a little bit of mineral oil. If it dries out completely, it might take a little bit of work to stir it back up and 
bring it back to working consistency. But um, you know, keep it capped. Uh, the big 10 ounce jars are for uh, more power users where you're really going through a lot. But again, it tends to dry out. Reconstitute it with a little mineral oil. I love the paste solder for little tiny soldering operations like earring posts makes it very easy, very convenient to do earring posts. Um, chains, chain repair, uh, putting chains together where you have those little tiny seams. Um, using sheet solder or wire isn't ideal for that because you tend to put too much on there and then you have a lump, then you gotta go and sand that off. So let me show you how I use paste solder. Let's get started. I really love the paste solder and especially in the syringe for chains. Makes it really easy to put just a little dab right on the solder joint. So what I, what I usually do is I'll fire coat the links, burn that off. As soon as that stops burning, that also helps warm up the piece so the, the paste solder um, really sticks right where I want it. Now I'll find my link, or find where I want to solder. And whether it's a repair or a new chain that you're building, um, it, it just makes it really easy. Squirt a little bit of the solder out. Wipe it right on the joint. And it doesn't take much. And then go in again, go in hot and fast and get the, get the uh, solder to flow. And as soon as you see it flash, you're done. There we go. That's all there is to it. So let me show you how I use it to put an earring post on. Now, I'll take my earring post, I'll add just a little bit of, of the paste solder to it, and I also fire coat my um, piece so I don't have oxidation. Um, it keeps the fire stain down and that way I don't have to battle with that. I don't lose detail when I'm polishing. So for me, that's ideal. And I'll put the, I'll line up the post where I want it. I'll add a little oxygen to my torch. Now, I recommend going in kind of hot and fast with the, with the paste solder because you don't want to burn off the flux. So when people go in and they, they do this, what happens is you burn off the flux, then the solder doesn't flow. So with this, get in, get hot, and get it done. So we're going to heat it up, and I saw, I saw it flow. That's all there is to it. Now, our earring is soldered. I hope you found those tips helpful. If you've never tried paste solder before, give it a shot. I think you're going to love it. I know I do. If you have any questions, contact us. Thank you.